hope everybody's doing well. Earlier in the week, we made a car using just things that we had at home. So the video for that, if you don't have it yet, is on our Facebook page, labspacerobotics.com, and go to the Lab Space at Home page. Oh, hi, Cleopat. Say hi to everybody. Today is elastic potential energy. So you're going to take a piece of masking tape and tape a rubber band onto the front of your car. So you'll just want to take that piece of masking tape and go through the rubber band and out the other side and press down really well on both parts. So that rubber band, you can pull it and let it go. So when we stretch the rubber band, we give it elastic potential energy. It has the energy when it's stretched to do work because as soon as you let go, the rubber band wants to go back. So just like when we take a rubber band and put it over our thumb and pull back and let it go, it flies across the room. So we pulled back and gave it elastic potential energy. And when we let go, it used that energy and flew across the room. The next thing that we want to do with our car, for our car is build a launcher. So you can take a pencil. It doesn't have to be a brand new pencil. I'm using a really old pencil where the eraser is almost gone because we want the eraser to be pretty flat. And we're going to tape that eraser onto a table, or at last case, we usually do this on the floor so that our car can go super far. So make sure you tape down the end with the eraser really well. There's going to be a lot of pressure there. So tape that end down, tape down a little further back. All right. Here's our car. Flip the rubber band over the eraser and hold it while you pull back and let go and your car goes. Let's try it again. Put the rubber band over the eraser, pull back. If you don't get the pencil taped down tight up in front, then the pencil's going to pull up and it's going to be hard to launch the car. So, after you've built your launcher, then you can, att can test um, giving somebody a ride on it. So let's see what Lego guy does when he gets a ride on the launcher. Oh no, Lego guy experienced one of the properties of inertia. He wasn't moving. And so when an object is at rest, it tends to stay at rest. So he just tended to stay right where he was and the car went out from underneath him. Now, we need to find a way to let Lego Guy be able to ride safely on our car. So what would you have to do? What would you do in case your car had a crash? So let's look. I've set up some of my favorite puzzles. So I've got Robin there on top. And I'm going to put a toy um, fire truck on top of my car. Put it in the front, and here comes the car. Oh, the fire truck also got left behind. So if you can figure out a way for the fire truck or Lego guy not to get left behind when you launch them, then figure out a way for the toy truck or Lego car or whatever you use not to go forward when it hits your puzzles or whatever obstacle you put in its way. Have fun experimenting. Let us know if you have any questions. We'll be, we'll be bringing you more things soon. Bye.